triangle proofs in three simple steps. Mark it up. Pick your theorem. Theorem will help you set up your proof. Let's do proofs together right now, step by step, and I'll review the theorems as we need them. We are asked to prove that triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCD. Let's take a look at the given information in these two triangles. Segment AC is congruent to segment CB, and then it's telling us that D is the midpoint of AB. Well, you have to have an idea of what that means. D is splitting that bottom segment in half. A to D is the same length as the segment from B to D, and we can use that. And then there's a third side going down the middle. They share that side, so we'll be using that as well. So what we have here is no information about angles, but we do have enough information to prove that all three sides of these two triangles are congruent. So we'll be able to prove that using the side 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 theorem. All right, let's wipe away all of this video stuff and look at the problem the way you would see it on a piece of paper and go through it step by step. Step one, mark up the diagram. AC is congruent to CB, and because D is a midpoint of AB, we know that AD is congruent to BD. Because they share the side down the middle, we know that CD is congruent to itself. I actually do write the theorem that we're going to be using side, side, side in letters along the side of my statements column here, so that'll help me guide my thoughts as I write the proof. So our first statement is to talk about one of the sides, and that is AC is congruent to CB, and that's given. Then they're telling us another given, and we have to put that in the proof before we can use it, and that is that D is the the midpoint of AB and that's given. It has to be stated, it has to be written down before you can use what it means, and that's the next line that AD is congruent to BD, and the reason is is that is the definition of midpoint. Because you want to use the definition of midpoint, you have to have the midpoint listed in the proof before that. The third side, CD, is congruent to DC, and that's the reflexive property. Therefore, triangle <laughs> ACD is congruent to triangle BCD, and the reason is is side, 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 triangle congruence theorem. Hey, if you got some value out of this, it would help me out a lot if you would like and subscribe so this channel can grow on YouTube. Thank you. Now to do another proof together, click into this video next.